What are we looking for? Dogs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Burry. You know, we're back on Burry's Eye View with it. Like always, appreciate the love and support. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Stop what you're doing. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Hop in the comment section. Comment whatever you want. Of course, I'm dropping daily bangers day by day. You know we got news of the day coming out of Colorado. And we're going to jump right into it, dog. So, of course, we back with another recap with this Colorado football program. As always, shout out Well Off Media, Reach the People Media for providing us the phenomenal footage each and every day. Of course, we're getting closer and closer to game day against Kansas State. Of course, it's going to be a great matchup, man. Uh, best team that we played all season for sure. Uh, of course, they've done some great things this season. Got a dual threat quarterback. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to bring you guys the keys to victory video on Friday. So I'm not going to get too much into detail on what my opinion is on the game and kind of what K-State likes to do. But uh, they're going to be a really good football team. Of course, the return of Dylan Edwards. So that's going to be exciting. Of course, he's going to be amped up, ready to roll. You always like that, being an athlete going against your former team. But, you know, like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun matchup. I will be in attendance. So like I said, in the previous videos, if you see me, come chop it up with me. Come holler at me, man. I'm going to be on live. So I'm make sure I bring you guys some in-depth footage. I'm going to get there. I know the game starts at 8.15 or, um, or 8, whatever time it is. Um, but I'm going to be there like probably like two, three o'clock. So I'm going to be there for a long time. So I'll make sure I get a lot of footage for you guys. Uh, see if I can chop it up with some of the players for you guys as well too. But uh, it's going to be a fun atmosphere, man. Expecting Boulder to be rocking. It's going to be another sellout crowd for sure. Uh, now, I saw something on Twitter. Shout out my dog, Matt H, man, on Twitter. Uh, he mentioned that our defense is actually number one in the country in the red zone. We got a number one red zone defense in the nation. Man, kudos to Coach Livingston. Kudos to the entire defensive uh, staff. I mean, our, our defensive staff has been doing a phenomenal job, especially with second half adjustments. But just in general, when you look at this defense, it's just, I mean, it's just miles ahead of last year without question, dog. But being the number one team in the country when it comes to red zone defense, that is an important statistic for sure because that's going to help keep our offense in games when you're limiting points in the red zone. Of course, we got that red zone interception um, against UCF. We had two red zone turnovers last week or well, the week before last against UCF because we got that red zone interception uh, with Preston Hodge in the corner and then of course Cam Simon Craig forced the fumble we scooped the score well actually no Jalen Wester forced the fumble Cam Simon Craig picked it up and took it to the crib and of course we uh, got that stop on the goal line as well too um, where we got the tackle like right on the one yard line so I mean we've done some phenomenal things all season when it comes to our defense but especially in the red zone our guys are showing up and showing out. Of course, we're getting help back on the back end with Shallow Sanders coming back. And of course, he will be inserted back into that starting lineup. It's looking like he will be starting against K-State. So, I mean, we're getting some dogs back. Carter, he did a great job filling in for Shallow without question. It wouldn't shock me if Shallow, I'm sorry, if Carter is able to still get on the field and uh, you know get some reps in because like, he did a great job in the absence of Shallow Sanders. But looking forward to our team you know, coming back a little bit more healthy, coming off a of bye week. So, you know, the, the bye week is a chance for us to get healthy. Guys that were a little bit nicked up, guys that were coming off an injury, they get an extra week. Uh, of course, looking forward to our offense, continuing our momentum on the ground, which is definitely helping out our passing game without question. Of course, we got guys that are really starting to heat up on both sides of the football, but especially offensively. You know, we're looking at Will Shepard finally getting in the end zone. He had a great game against UCF, you know, a bounce back game. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing our offense continue to jail. The offensive line is getting better by the week. Of course, we're rotating guys in and out and guys are stepping up and doing some great jobs. You know, Phillip Houston, Kareem Harden, I mean, stepping in and, you know, replacing guys like Benson Mayers, uh, who's been doing some good things for us too. But, you know, we're we having guys stepping in. That's one thing we didn't have last year. We didn't have the depth last year like we got now when at the end of the day dog if, if if one of our starting five offensive linemen couldn't play or just couldn't get the job done we couldn't really go to somebody else you know to just plug and play and and, and then you know we can rely on them to get the job done we just didn't have that last year but we got that this year we got depth all the way across the board and uh, that's a great thing to have and that's the reason why our program is four and one looking to go five and one after playing k-state so um, I'm looking forward to the matchup. Like I said, I'm going to bring you guys that keys to victory video. Uh, we do have some players that are going to be visiting as well, too. I know one for sure. Um, it's a four star kid. I'm going to bring a video about him as well. Um, I'm going to see exactly who else we have visiting. That way I can at least bring you guys some in-depth analysis on the visitors that are going to be coming. I know he's not going to be the only one for sure. But yeah, he's definitely a four star kid. Defensive lineman. Uh, I'll bring you guys his tape. But um, it's going to be fun, man. Uh, I'm looking for a, a great show for our offense, without question, our defense and our, our special teams as well. We play complimentary football. And that's what it's going to take for us to achieve our goals that we have set out for the season. The Big 12 title is a legit thing that we can win. That, that's not something that's, 
a fairy tale or no shot. I mean, the Big 12 is wide open and we right there in the middle of it. When you got a defense, when you got a defense, dog, and you got the best quarterback in the country, you got the best player in the country, you have a staff with all this NFL experience on it, things are starting to click and it's starting to come together. And if we can stay healthy, I'm telling you right now, the Big 12 title is right there up for grabs. And if you can win that, then you're talking playoffs. I mean, it's crazy to think that we're really having these type of conversations and it's it's real. Like you can almost touch it. Just looking about, you know, looking back last year, going four and eight, and looking at how, you know, we we handled business last year and then the, the jump that we made this year is just it's just phenomenal. Kudos to the coaching staff, kudos to Coach Prime, the recruiting staff, you know, everything that we've been able to do. And then of course the guys, the young men on the field putting in some work and uh, working hard, buying into what we built here. And um, it's, it's showing a lot on Saturdays. But not going to keep it long. Just want to bring you guys a phenomenal update. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. You know what time it is, dog. Birds eye view, man. Right?